Hi guys and welcome back to more Cooks Homemade. My name's Hayley and we have a Sainsbury's haul this week. Um, so we'll start in no particular order, just in what way Steve's put it up. We've got two bags of the British baking potatoes. Not very big, but you better do. A bag, a kilo bag of carrots. Some good sized Brussels sprouts for a change. Usually like marbles. I got some fresh chives. Steve needed some more sriracha sauce. He's nearly out. But that's super spicy one. Not that it'll probably bother him. Like right, this he tried for the first time on the last order. Um, it's supposed to be mustard, but and it's three chillies spice, but wise. But what does this taste like, Steve? Horseradish. Horseradish. He really, really likes this. It's nice. What like horseradishy mustard? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Him and his dad really like that. He wasn't out of it, but I thought I'd better grab another one. We don't always shop at the same place. Condiments are cheaper at Sainsbury's. I found than most other shops. So I've got a whole grain mustard, a Dijon mustard, and an actual horseradish sauce. Only Steve and his dad eat that. I was out of teriyaki sauce, so got another one. Condiments are getting really, really expensive. Side of vinegar, we use that in tuna um, to soak prawns when we have prawns with salad, don't we? What else do we use side of vinegar? Hey? Salad. Yeah. Mm. And oh, yeah, you know the big giant Spanish onions, we soak them in side of vinegar and black pepper, put them in sandwiches, so nice. Now, this, this I nearly cried. And I had one of the moments when I showed Steve and I was like, holding it up. Do you know how much this was? <laughs> this was over £3. And this is the Sainsbury's one, not the actual branded one. Absolutely disgusted at the price of some things now. So corned beef ash will be like once every six months from now on. That's the only thing we use this for, isn't it? So yeah, I fancied that, so I bought one of these. I might just use a corner of it each time and save it. So I've bought, ooh, turn it around, put it back. Bought four of the strong white bread flour because believe it or not, I've used nearly four bags in less than two weeks. So yeah, been a lot of baking going on. It's you guys forcing me to make garlic bread again. Um, so I've got another four. I've got some mushrooms. These are a must in this house. We use a lot of mushrooms. Not the best looking shiitake mushrooms I've ever seen. And is there really any need for the size of the pot? But I do like shiitake mushrooms. I want them for a risotto. The look on Steve's face after I say risotto. How long is that? Whole green beans, again, these are for Steve. Well, everyone except me and the kids, really. What, just me then? <laughs> no, there's your, your dad and Elaine. Um, that was the only eggs I could get my hands on. So, yeah, got them ones. I don't know if they're... They're not too bad. They're not too bad. And at least it says free range. Uh, paracetamol, I mean I don't use these, they're, they're no good for me, but our eldest takes these, she suffers with migraines. Those, 12 potato waffles, oh sorry Steve, I'm meant to be holding them up. <laughs> Over two quid for their own brand. I tell you I'm going to be disgusted all the way through this hole now, wait for it. <laughs> so yeah, waffles for the kids. These are mine. 13 used to be 15 and they've gone up in price. I'm disgusted. For 12 next time. Yeah. 
I got some smoked haddock fillets to make a fish pie. Not often I make one, but I, I like smoked fish because it gives the the cheesy sauce a nice nice taste. Four garlic chicken keeves. Since we've started having them Popeyes um, chicken burgers, I think we've gone through about four jars now, haven't we? Pickles, because as soon as it's open for burgers, Steve eats the rest of the jar. <laughs> yes, you do. Nobody else in this house eats them. I so I buy them for the burgers. They get used for the burgers once, and then Steve eats them. I don't. You do. It says perfect in burgers, Steve. Not perfect in your belly. <laughs> I'm not making burgers all the time, just so you can have them. Got four brown onions, three brown onions, <laughs> one, two, three. <sighs> Got some bananas. Not very often seen in my haul, but a lone red pepper. Some British baby potatoes. We use this in all sorts, don't we? If it's not stew, it's the crushed and roasted or just chucked in the air fryer and roasted, whatever. They get used for all sorts. Some baby plum tomatoes. No more from the garden now. That's all gone. Thankfully, they delivered Amy's pan of chocolate. They've gone from 90 odd pence everywhere to about 130 odd nail bag. Uh, I had to get a room. Two part bakes. Again, this is one thing in the house that we usually always have to have in, don't we? Because we use it for summer. Handy. It's handy, yeah. We like to mop. We're a family that likes to mop up gravy. So I've got Hovis granary thick. I like this toasted. And just a soft white for the kids for sandwiches. Right. If I say the farmhouse yellow box dumpling mix, do, do you know what I mean? They used to be 40 odd pence and they're at like well over a quid now. I'm not paying that. So I've got the Sainsbury's one. These come in handy when I can't be bothered, to be perfectly honest. So, I got a pork tenderloin fillet. This is so I can slice it up and marinate it, and then I'll freeze it. And I'll use that for chow suey. Chop it up, put it in fried rice. Two of the cooking bacon. Again, this is something we like to keep in because we use a lot of this, especially for risottos and stuff. What's it say, Steve? Smoked. It does say smoked. That was by accident, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Two smoked back bacon rashers, and it was by accident. <clears throat> Got a two kilo pack of chicken thighs. This was a good price. So this will be split down to go in the freezer. I'm making another Christmas cake for someone special. So I've ordered some more mixed fruit. Glass of cherries and cut mixed peel. Right, I'll get the other half. If you give me a second, I'll be right back. So this is what is left. So I've switched from Maris because I'm sick of them being black to red potatoes. And at the minute they're on offer at a pound for two and for two kilo bags. So I've got two of those. I've got two packs of the Royal Gator apples. A great big for a change. Head of iceberg lettuce. <laughs> label. I got a label in my hand. And those are the easy peelers. I definitely got some flat leaf parsley. <laughs> you can turn it to the side, you can barely see it. 
So yeah, some flat leaf parsley. Got some bean sprouts. Remember when these used to be about 40p as well. Got some spinach, watercress and rocket salad. That one that Steve had, that, um, was it rocket and herb? Mm, didn't like it. Summit and herb, you didn't like it, did you? The, this is the only substitution I asked for the Chinese vegetable one and sent this one, which is fine. A whole cucumber. Two of the double creams. Date's pretty good on that. Got some sliced Polish cheese. A celery. What do you call that? You said celery, Steve. Celery. Was it like a bunch or? I don't know what you call it. Anyway, celery. Then I've got some plums. Steve and Caitlin eat these. I did get three of these kiwis, but I've just chucked one because it was all smushy. So, yeah. Amy likes kiwi. Now and again. I've got a large pork pie. That was over three quid as well. I'm disgusted, man. I'm disgusted. So, right. Well, yeah, because I like pork pie. <laughs> Some corned beef. Egg bites. Never thought to freeze them actually. Didn't know you could. Oh well, yeah, don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Some salami as usual. Pizza pepperoni. The in just about every haul that we do. A bowl of mozzarella. This was an offer. That's the only reason Steve's got it. This is probably your favourite yogurt, isn't it? Yeah. Not raspberry. I'm going to smack you so hard. Yeah, that was an offer. Steve will put the price up. The rhubarb one's about. Is it? Well, you got that, so show up. I give up my ice cream so you could have that. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright. That's appreciation, isn't it? The packet of beef mints. Over £5, guys. Really? Really, can't believe it. Whatever. <laughs> so the Popeyes chicken burgers that I do, I have tried them with thighs because I prefer thighs, but it don't work as well for that recipe, does it, Steve? No. It definitely needs the chicken fillets. So when I do buy fillets, I only buy the two. Just a regular margarine, butter, whatever you want to call it. Usually baking. A butter, salted of course, some petit filou, Amy likes them, and last but not least, I thought I only added one, how big is it? 600 grams, oh well we've got 1200 grams of cheese, I thought I only added one but whatever, we've got lots of cheese. <laughs> Keeps. I foresee cheese in the future. I'll talk to you anyway, you'll be alright. Well, I mean, wouldn't even get to next moment of my January. So, yeah, that's what we got, guys, from Sainsbury's. Anything you think was a good deal, or you've noticed a price hike, or whatever. I can't get over the corned beef, that's going to be with me all day now. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching, putting up with us. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it if you can, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.